Hello there, did you know you can compare the performance of your GPU with other stable diffusion users? You can also compare the command line arguments to see which ones generate images in the quickest way. There is a public database, I have put the link in the description. Or search the internet for SD Web UI Benchmark Data. You can look up your GPU and see what performance other people are getting. You can also sort by models to see which models generate the quickest. To benchmark and compare your GPU, go to your Web UI, click on Extensions and click on Available. Search for System. The System Info extension will show up. Click on Install. Go back to the Installed section. Check if the SD extension system info is there. Click on Apply and Restart UI to activate the extension. When your UI is restarted, there is a new System Info tab. It shows information about your GPU, which platform you are on, which libraries are installed and so on. Scroll down a bit to see the Benchmark section. Click on Run Benchmark to test your GPU. I'll use the extensive benchmark level to benchmark all batch sizes. It reports the iterations per second for the batch sizes 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 depending on your chosen benchmark level. If you choose normal, it will test for the batch sizes 1, 2 and 4. If you choose extensive, it will additionally benchmark the sizes 8 and 16. This can be interesting if you notice that your GPU performs better at higher batch sizes. If you want to note something, you can do so by entering that in the note field. For example, if you have overclocked your GPU. After clicking on Run Benchmark, you can check the status in the console window. It will show total progress when it's done. It shows all the stats in the web UI. Click on Submit Results to share them with the community so other people can look at yours and see how they can improve. In the performance column are the iterations per second for each of the batch sizes starting with batch size 1. If you compare your results to others, you may notice that other command line arguments work better. I personally ran this twice and noticed that if I do not use the dash dash dot met vram as a startup argument, my GPU generates the images about 0.3 iterations faster. After a bit of testing, I use these parameters now on a GTX 1060.